my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some fresh FM21 and our Project Black Sea series. Last episode, my friends, is linked above for you right now. Um, I have a bit of a meltdown in that episode. I'm just going to throw that out there now. Slightly embarrassing when I watched it back, but it is what it is. I'm a passionate guy and I just didn't like the way some things went. But go watch the episode anyway. Go get caught up. But today, my friends, this could be the biggest episode of the series so far without a shadow of a doubt it could be the biggest episode because we are three points away from winning the league so we'll start the fixture screen um we all know what happened last episode 5-1 on aggregate against Ludogrets. we go crashing out of the cup and we threw away really important points in the league as well arda uh, you know, they were probably worth the draw, but we should have been better. We really, really should have been. Um, I, I did say at the beginning of the last episode we were going to do three game episode this time out, but I decided against it because of the heavy defeats, and I wanted to take a good look at the team, basically. We played Locomotive Plovdiv, and uh, I'm just going to say it was anything but convincing. We were 1-0 down inside 15 minutes. We had to fight back. Bonev and Tira with the goals. Um, there's just certain players have just not been turning up and not been playing well recently. And you think about how good our form has been. Look at how terrible it's been towards the back end of the season. Uh, you can see there, you know, four defeats, uh, a draw. It's just not really been good enough. And uh, we've been getting torn to pieces for some reason on the counter-attack. No idea why, because I've changed nothing about the way the team goes about, um, d d the way it does things, basically. I don't know if we've been worked out, not sure. But uh, but yeah, we are three points away. The reason for that is CSKA, um, they drew their game uh, against Ludogrets um, last time out. Uh, it was a nil-nil draw. And so it's opened the door. We're four points now uh, ahead. And uh, yeah, so if, um, if we win this game we guarantee ourselves the league title. If we draw and they draw or get or get defeated, we still win the league title. But uh, but yeah, we will guarantee it in this game should we go and win it. And that's that's got to be the thing we do. We've got to go for the win. We've got to go for the jugular and we've got to get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. So that's exactly what we're going to be trying um, to do. So without further ado, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, the plan is I'm going to play this Botev game. If we win it and um, we secure the league title, then what I'll do is I won't bother playing the CSK Sophia game. I'll play that one off cam and then I'll actually do a season wrap up uh, for us this time around because uh, hopefully we'll find out what sort of transfer budget and that sort of thing we will have going into next season. I don't imagine it's going to be much more than it has been in uh, recent seasons because financially the club is not in a good place. So uh, I would imagine it's still going to be pretty, pretty bad. Now, this is the team uh, uh, I am not going to go with. I'm going to be Bonnevin uh, because it didn't work last time out playing Christoph there. And I'm also going to bring Bakira Seaman because Ivanov wasn't very good last time. So yeah, I'm going to make those two changes. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to leave it as it is, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the team we're going to go with going into this very, very important game. Uh, Topazov has been sensational the last couple of games. He might not be scoring, but he's definitely coming up with really important assists. And so yeah, let's get cracking, shall we? Petar Petrov is in goal. Ivradi's going to play right back. Verdenikov at left back. Markov and Malinov at centre back. Yankov Dimitrov in the centre midfield area. Bonev, Topazov on the wings. Bakira seen from the middle and Zhivkov up top please let's win it now come on here we go big game big 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 game gotta win this one so it doesn't go to the last game of the season I really don't want the drama of a final day you know game where we need a point and oh no I, I don't want to do it I can't be dealing with that sort of drama. We've been awful recently. Let's not sugarcoat it. The form's not been good. Our performances have not been good. Uh, even in that last game where we managed to come back and win it, our performance was still pretty awful. And there's just certain players that have bottled it at the very important and most important time of the season. Uh, it's one of the reasons Iradi's in at right back. Atanasov and Nikolev not been able to get the job done there. Um, Zhivkov is off the goals. Yeah, it's just, it's not been good. Here we go, though. Free kick. Rasil. Oh, it's a good free kick and a good effort. We're always dangerous from set pieces. That does have to be said. Right, gets up and win that. He does. That's uh, unlucky. Rasil couldn't bring the ball down. We win this back again. No. 
Bonev. Bonev is 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 not really the player he was. Um, he's no Petkov at the end of the day. Um, as they drive through the midfield, way 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 too easy. It's way 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 too easy for them to get through us. What are we doing? We are asleep right now. And this has been the trouble. We are easy to hurt at the moment. And I don't know why, because if you're looking at the team, ladies and gents, pretty much the same team it has been all season. It really is. It's been a very consistent starting 11. Um, I don't know. Something's happened to them. Something has happened to this team at the latter part of the season. And it's on the verge of costing us big, 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 big time. They're on top in this game. Here we go. They're throwing. Come on. Don't let this go the other way. Bonev, it's all right. Yankov's going to pick up Dmitrov. Out to Bonev. Out to Verdanikov. Come on, get a ball in. Oh, no. What is that? What was that ball? That was like the attempt as well. was just, it weren't good. Yankov, back to the keeper. Come on. Nothing. Oh, we just relinquish possession like that. It's just so poor. Win it. Does that's all right? Here we go. Come on, build. Shifkov is in. Oh, is it the woodwork? What a goal it would have been. I think it was offside in the end. What a goal that would have been. Throw in. Come on. That was all right. That's nice. Good ball. Oh, we've hit the woodwork again. Please don't let it be one of these games where it's just not going to happen. Oh, I think he was offside. I think he was offside anyway. Come on. We've really picked it up. Last five or so in the game, we've really picked it up. Oh, we're picking up yellow cards, though. That is a worry. <sighs> right. I don't know. Nil-nil. Um, I really just I want this. I want this title tied up now. I want it tied up now. Right, goal kick to our opposition. Take that down. No need to rush. There we go. That's good. Bonniv's first touch was not good. Here we go, though. He's going to turn back. Inside to Racine. Oh, Racine rushed it. Racine rushed it. Here we go, though. Bonniv again. Racine. Don't rush it. There we go. Zhivkov. Where's he going to go? Into Topes. Back to Topes. It was a beautiful one-two. It was a beautiful one-two between the striker and the right midfielder. What a goal that is. It's beautiful stuff. And we have a lead. We have something to build on in the game. Um, I don't know what to do with substitutions. I really, really don't. Um, I think Bonnev has run his race, though. And we're going to bring... Fristovon, um, we will go to an inverted winger though, because he is right, very heavily right footed as well. So we'll go to that. Here we go. Highlight. Shifkov comes out to Verdaninko. Yankov. I think he was offside. He was. Oh, Topes was offside. Topes was offside. But we're creating chances. Um. Oh, what do we do? Markov isn't actually having a good game. He's on a yellow card. Do I make changes at the back? I am actually going to go and make a change back there. Um, Markov is going to come off at Tanasov. We made that change. It's another yellow card off the pitch as well. That'll help us. Um... Oh my god. I said this was going to be tight this game and it is proving just that. With 10 minutes to go, it's still just 1-0, but if we hold on, we win the league. Come on, boys. Come on. Not long to go. Malinov's picked up a yellow. Here we go. We might have an attack on our hands, Atanasov. Where are you going to go with this? Someone's got a show for him. Someone's got a show. Topes, good header from Topes. Oh, Dimitrov! Oh, 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 he's so close from Dimitrov. It really is. We're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. We're gonna get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Let X win the league. Oh my God, what a game. We've been so poor recently. So poor recently. Ah. <sighs>
Yes! Get in! Get in! Well ahead of schedule. We won the league. So ahead of schedule. How have we done it? Oh, Jesus. We can't even see them walking around the pitch because of the roof. Oh. My God. What a time to be alive. But. <laughs> that game nearly killed me off <laughs> right i'm going to quickly run through this and then i'm going to play another game off camera and then we're going to do our season wrap up but as you can see uh the league title was ours that was that was mental penchev uh he's reacting to some, some controversy or whatever in the game um but yeah it's actually our fifth league title that we've won it before before well before my reign uh but i think it's our first in 11 years i think in the league i'm not sure I'll, i will double check all that but yeah, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant to get it done. Uh, Bald React, they're ecstatic. Of course they are. They weren't expecting this. Luda Gretz, it looks as though their domination of the division has been broken, though. Obviously, Levski won it last year, and now we win it this year. Yankov has praised me for winning the title, and yeah, we've got bits and bobs to do. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game. I'm going to play the CSKA Sophia game. I'm going to get that one done and dusted, and then we'll go through our season wrap-up and then end this episode and end another season here with Latex. Okay, my friends, so I have played the game. We're now going to do our season review, our season wrap-up. No camera, because I want you to be able to see the full uh, screen and everything that's going on. We'll take a look at this. We'll get the season wrapped up, and then we can talk about next season and what's going to happen. We did win our last game of the season, just so you know, by two goals to one. Absolutely dominated it. So even if we hadn't got the result uh, against Botev, we would have then clinched it last game of the season. But let's be honest, I was stressed out enough with the last game, so it's a good job it didn't. So anyway, let's cover everything. So new arrivals is the first section we're going to look at. These are obviously all the players that we signed this season, and it's sort of a breakdown of what they've done. Uh, this lad here who's in, uh, he's a youngster. Uh, he's signed to the under-19s on a free transfer recently. So uh, we don't really need to be looking at his numbers, but everybody else, I think they they had an impact. They, 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 uh, they definitely helped the team out. And I do I think the new left back, he's been very, very good. 15 appearances, three assists, and you might as well call that a 7.0 rating. Really, really top stuff from him. Uh, Ivalo Markov, the centre back, he came in. He's done a really good job. Really, really enjoyed what he's done. Uh, Tira was a backup, but he did score eight goals from four starts. So that's pretty good stuff. That's a pretty good turnaround for the 29 year old. And then Ivalo Ivanov, maybe the most disappointing of them all, but he is 19 years of age. He's joining us on a free transfer, and we can hopefully develop the player. Uh, and turn him into something really, really special. Uh, season results, I think this part is. That's the league table. Um, that's how it finishes at the preliminary phase. Uh, when you add the points on from the championship phase, I think we've ended up on 73 points. Um, we've done very, very well this season. Uh, at the end of the day, we, we've, we've blown all the expectations out of the water, haven't we? Uh, gone well, uh, you know, well and above uh, what was expected. Um, even with this unbelievable season, we only had 22% of our of our stadium fall, though. So uh, that's a little disappointing. And as you can see, Zhivkov with 21 goals this season. So, yeah, really, really good year for us. Really good stuff. Um, moments to remember. Biggest win, 6-0 against Tatar. Ended up becoming the record win for Litex. Uh, match to remember was the 2-1 against Ludogrets. Really top stuff from us in that. Bonnev and Zhivkov with the goals. And then the uh, goal of the season came in the 3-1 win against 1948. Uh, and it was Topes. Uh, his perfect finish uh, to an excellent team move. I wonder if we could watch that goal. Is there any way we can watch the, that goal, the second minute one? Um, you used to be able to. Maybe I'll try and I'll try and find this for us after we are all said and done here. But yeah, you used to be able to do this sort of stuff. Finances, uh, even though we've had a really good season, the finances are not good. They've taken a massive knock again. We've lost money. Sponsorship isn't really there. So yeah, I don't really know what to, what to make of this club. To be honest with you, um, yeah, there was no new sponsorship deals this season. But Bakir, Rasim, Tobe, Zhivkov, Dimitrov, and Bonev, uh, they sold the most shirts this season. So it would be nice to keep them all. But Tobes, I'm very very worried about where he's going to be next season. This is how we lined up for the majority of the season. Apparently, uh, I don't agree with the Bonev one, but the rest of it. Um, is pretty bang on, to be honest with you. And uh, as you can see, some very, very good stuff from us. Uh, but yeah, Bonev, I would probably have put Petkov in there, even though he was 
Uh, a bit injury prone this year. He still played a lot more games than Bonev did. Uh, but Bonev had an okay impact, didn't he? But 21 goals. Topes ended up 19 goals and 6 assists from that right-hand side. I told you he was ready this season, didn't I? Dimitrov had a really good year. 12 assists. Unbelievable for him. And Bakir Asim didn't play as many games, but was definitely a very influential player for us all season long. And to the accolades... Um, I reckon I will win manager of the year this year. That's what I am going to say. Uh, as you can see, uh, fans player of the season is Topes. Young player of the season is Topes. Signing of the season is Markov. Uh, Topes with the goal of the year. We've got uh, Zhivkov with the top goal scorer, 21. Uh, Dimitrov with the 12 assists. Uh, Topes got the most player and match awards, 8 for the season. Highest average rating as well, 7.3. And uh, most passes completed per 90 minutes, 74 out of 90 on average for Dmitriov. Uh, Petar ended up with 13 clean sheets and uh, most league goals by a player. That's a record broken. 77. He now owns the overall record, does Radoslav Zhivkov. Um, and so, yeah, we were the history makers uh, this year as we toppled everybody else. We won the league and it was just brilliant, brilliant stuff. And so, yeah, so a few other things before we wrap up today's episode. As you can see, a few people have made it in now to our overall best 11. Uh, nice to see Topes in there. Um, not sure about Petrov being in there, but Racine is in the midfield. Uh, so, yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, we win the league. Seasonal performances was pretty decent. Um, we met all our expectations. So I think these are new for next season. Mid-table is our expected finish. Uh, I'm just going to accept it because I reckon we can do it. End of season um, meetings and what not to do. Um, and yeah, there's no news on transfer budgets and what not. We are going to be here next season. Uh, I will just show you. We are here till 2027, potentially. We signed a new deal recently. So that's good. We will be here. Um, our win percentage has gone up. We, we're looking decent. I'm not for a minute thinking that we can qualify for the Champions League. Um because we're probably going to have to go through some qualification games. I'm not going to say right now that we are going to be able to do it. But, um, but, but yeah, you know, like, we will just wait and see. But as champions, I do believe we get a Champions League berth. Uh, Topes, Zivkov finished top in the top scorers. Topes with the uh, average ratings. Pe uh, Petrov with the clean sheets. In there with the man of the matches as well. Dominating these things. Um, I just want to see... Um, if there's anything in here about it, um, do, 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 do. don't think there is. Um, can't see anything about it, who finishes where, who gets what. Um, no, I can't see anything. But I do believe we have qualified for the Champions League, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> not too worried about um, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It didn't say anything about Champions League. That's the trouble. It didn't say we've, we were going to be there or, or not. But we will wait and see. Um, congratulations when the title has been a great achievement. It'd be tough. Um, I'm just going to go with this one because that's the one that we've done in our thing, but I will be trying to win it again. I'll also be aiming to reach the Champions League competition proper. Uh, oh, yeah, right. So that's confirmed. We will be in the Champions League. That's the sort of reaction I wanted. Uh, wasn't sure about from... Yep, we'll do the promises then. Thanks, everyone. Uh, and have a lovely end of season break. That just about does it, ladies and gents. That is the end of season four. What a season. And so there you are, my friends. We're done and dusted for another season. Uh, we're going to be in the Champions League. I'm not sure what the finance is going to look like. I'm not sure what sort of transfer budgets we're going to have. Um, I think we're going to have to qualify. So we probably will be coming back pretty early for the start of Season 5 because European football, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the episodes will always come to you before league football. The reason for that is the goal is to get to a Champions League final. So European football is always going to be more important than domestic cup and league uh, you know league football at the end of the day so uh, do keep that in mind my friends what a season it's been unbelievable uh, we win the league can we go and do it again next season though better still can we compete in the champions league but my friends 
do drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel to show some appreciation do all the other good stuff check the description box for things like discord and that uh, i would really really appreciate it but my friends i am off i'm off to celebrate might have myself another cup of tea uh on the yard stuff you know anyway saluting you all uh, uh stay safe stay humble and i'll see you for the start of season five next time Oh, 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 oh,